As we age, we think that our knees are completely done, that we need to go and see a specialist before we do any form of activity, and that we think that the best days of our knees are behind us. But I say that's 100% not true. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you five simple exercises that you can do every single day that's gonna to help to rebuild that cartilage so you can get that shock absorption. We're gonna put fluid back into the joints and we're gonna regain that mobility into your knee. The first exercise is gonna be a heel slide. All right, the first exercise is called a heel slide. You're just gonna slide your heel towards your butt, driving the knees in towards the chest, and right away we're putting deep knee flexion into those tendons and into that cartilage. You can do these anywhere. I prefer to do them right before I go to sleep. The second exercise you're gonna do is a bent knee flutter kick. All right, the next exercise is actually gonna work your abs, but it's also gonna work into the muscles, into the thighs. You're gonna have your knees bent, and all you're gonna do is just drive your heels towards your butt. So right away, you're putting a lot of tension into that tendon in here, but it's also driving in fluids into that knee. This, we're gonna go 10 per side. The third is gonna be knee bent, Egg beaters, I got this exercise for my son, but when you do this exercise, you're gonna really feel how it's putting fluid and it's breaking up any scar tissue that you might have into the joints. Third exercise is gonna be the knee bend, so same position, you're just gonna do egg beaters. You're just gonna go around. I like to go five one way, and then we're gonna go five the other way. This is gonna work into that cartilage itself without making it an impact exercise. So we're drawing blood flow into that area so that it can cause regrowth and regeneration of that cartilage. This one's gonna be 10 total reps. The fourth exercise, we're gonna build up that muscle that's just sitting above the knee called your quads, and we're gonna do alternating thigh squeezes. Each thigh squeeze, you're gonna hold for two seconds, and you're gonna do five per side. The next one's gonna be an isometric exercise, so we're gonna focus on squeezing one thigh at a time, so you're gonna really look at this inside muscle, you're gonna hold it for two seconds. Then you go to the other one. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, this is gonna regain the deep muscles that work into that thigh and help stabilize that knee. And the last but not least, which is my favorite, is you're gonna do the kneeling sit and you're going to lean back. This is gonna increase the flexibility in the front of your legs. It's gonna increase the flexibility that overlaps your knee and into your thigh. The last but not least is the kneeling sit back. So this actually might already be enough for you. Once you can get into this position, this is a great starting point. If you cannot, just put your hands in here and we'd start up here. But your goal is to be able to sit back. Not only sit back, but I want you to be able to lean back and then even lift the knees off the ground. So if your knees are still extremely bad, I would tell you to still go see your specialist. There might be something that they can do either surgically or non-surgically, but in the meantime, let's see what we can do naturally and let's see if we can get the body to heal itself through using these five core exercises. Now, if you need more advice on your knee health and how you can regain mobility and flexibility, then I put a link in the description of another YouTube video that I've done. I want you to do these exercises and those exercises combined. Now, if you're looking to get back to full health and you're looking to regain your strength and mobility, it starts with one workout. So go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. And if you're in a belly burn, make sure to ask your coach, which key supplements can you take that's gonna help rebuild your cartilage, some of your tendons and your ligaments so that you can include that into your belly burn plan.